Well, it's been six months. We're back. Hi guys, welcome to Lee Reacts. Hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. And we are back uh, with Ultravox. Um, we did Astrodyne, uh, the first track on this same album we're gonna be listening to it, you know, today, uh, about six months ago, like I said, and it was absolutely stellar. <laughs> it's one of my favorite songs on the channel, like no lie, it's in the top 20. Um, and I've done over 2000 videos, that song's easily in the top 20. Um, I've gotten some good replay out of it as well. And I've kind of been holding off on it because I've had so many requests to do, and there's so many other bands, you know, especially this one too, that I've wanted to get into because I loved that song so much. Um, that wasn't even like their hits, not even a single, you know, and I forgot who requested it, but I'm glad that they did. Uh, but this is our first flash request poner, uh, <laughs> whoa, our first flash request post winner of the week, uh, courtesy of Dr. Strangelove. Coming in there uh, with Vienna by Ultravox. Congratulations, my friend. Thank you for entering. I think we'll have one or two more this week uh, since I, you know, took a week off basically from doing a new one. Um, like I said, Astrodyne's the only song I've heard by them, um, and it was absolutely fantastic. So I'm excited to check this out. If y'all aren't subscribed, help a brother out. Click that icon right below my face. I'd really appreciate it. And we have a really cool Patreon community. If you want to get a video just like this, join the $15 tier up and get one for your request a month. But there's also a PayPal in the description, too, if you want to do it that way. All right. Vienna by Ultravox. And I'll link that other video up there if you want to go watch it. Astrodyne. Three, two, one. Vienna. Go. Espresso. Makes the intro go very quickly. We walked in the cold air. Breath on the window pane, lying and waiting. A man in the dark in a picture frame, so mystic and so food. A voice reaching out in a piercing cry, it stays with you until.
I'm playing that over again. I, it's not even over yet. I'm playing that over again. I don't care. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh my god. Just for that last 20 seconds. Not even last 20 seconds. That 20 seconds right before the end. I'm playing it just for that. Like that was... It just brought up this memory in my head that like... I don't know. I don't think it's mine. That's strange. All right, Vienna by Ultravox in three, two, one, go. Double play on a Friday. Let's go. I gotta hear that again. That was absolutely lush, bro. That's whoever produced this metaphorical hat off. <laughs> you walked in the cold air. Freezing breath on the window pane. I can't believe this is 1980, bro. Man in the dark in the picture frame, so mystic and so food. It's so like the voice reaching out I don't know. and the piercing cry. It stays with you until it's so electronic, but it it's so old feeling. I don't know how to describe it. singing it like come on man that's that's not fair it's absolutely like hypnotizing bro. the music is weaving hunting notes puts a cat to a screen
That is a powerful ass song. <laughs> I can't lie. <laughs> oh my goodness. What do I even say about that? I mean, good God. Um, the first thing that comes to mind is uh, the rhythm is, you know, mechanical, you know, digital, but the melody is all natural. You know what I mean? Like, um, kind of like us in a way. That's how I felt from that. You know, there is so many um, almost conflicting things happening at once, but it kind of just joined in this beautiful melody or in harmony, shall I say, of things going on um, with the, you know, electronic, you know, drums, the, the keys, and then the piano, the organ. I mean, they used all kinds of stuff, it sounded like. And um, his vocals, you know, they're, everything was just perfect in that song, man. And then it got better on the second listen. Um, and like I said, the first time like that, that the first time that part came around didn't happen as much in the second one is for just for this. But like, you know, I had this memory come up in my head. It's like, I don't know. It just kind of unlocked something in my head that I guess I buried for a while. I don't know if it's like a memory from when I was younger or I, I don't know. But it, it came up though. like I, it was just an old house, you know, like an old Victorian kind of house. And um, I don't know. I've had kind of dreams like that before in my life. You know, I just kind of. I've been in like an old house, you know, I don't know if that's like my memory palace or whatever, the place that I go to, you know, we all have one. It's you don't remember it. You know, I know people can construct it and actually remember it and everything like that. I, I can't do stuff with my dreams anymore. Unfortunately, I don't really dream much anymore uh, and I sleep good. I sleep really good, but I don't dream. It's so weird. I used to dream a lot, you know, and no, I don't. It's almost like I'm just trapped in this flesh prison. I can't go anywhere. But y'all are just stuck with me then, right? <laughs> All right, who do we got? Um, oh, wow. There's so many different versions of this damn album. Jesus. All right. Warren Can on drums, electronic percussion, um, Chris Cross on bass, synthesizers, backing vocals, Billy Curie on piano, synthesizers, viola, and violin. Oh, man, he was fantastic in that. And then Midge Yuri, I'm guessing on guitars, synthesizers, and lead vocals. Um, and it was produced by Connie Plank, which is, but it says co-production, so maybe uh, Midge as well did it. Um, man, I, I that's just magical, man. I'm sitting here still just like trying to think of like what even to say about that. Like you guys listen to it, but I think the, the way that it balanced everything, you know, with the digital and like the old basically you know like the piano the organ all that you know it all it's just all like it was like conflicting you would think it, like it wouldn't work um but it totally does um and his vocals are just soaring i mean when he hits that vienna i mean like good god it just raises the hair on your your arms man it really does um it definitely does make you think about like old stuff though you know and this kind of feels like it <laughs> exists in its own little you know it's kind of timeless it's got that a little bit of a timeless quality to it and that's probably because of the you know the violin uh and the organ and the piano this is fantastic work the keys the synthesizers i mean they had everything going <laughs> you know it's everything with some keys on it they were using and it's just wow <laughs> i i can't even come to say much about that like that's how much that song just affected me bro that was really really good um there isn't much to talk about other than you know the i guess the pianos and stuff and the vocals because everything else seemed to be like programmed or synthesizers digital percussion and such and um i think that that's the thing that stood out to me in the last song too was the sense it's from this album as well as the, the lead track or the first track on the album um astrodyne and that's a perfect intro track to this band. I know it's kind of a weird pick you guys said, but see, I still remember the comments from six months ago. It's, <laughs> that's how weird I am, bro. I still remember them. Uh, Y'all said that that was kind of a weird track to start off on, you know, but I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Absolutely love this. I had I had no doubt going into this that I was going to absolutely adore this track, and I did, and um, it still surprised me, you know? Um, so thank you to... Uh, Oh man, who was it? Doctor Strangelove? <laughs> Yeehaw! Um, it's a good movie, man. Um, Kubrick's the best. Uh, I'd say that um, obviously the vocals were great, but the synthesizers, the keys, and the organ was my favorite part. I mean, it just created this magical old world in your head, you know, uh, by cr with using like artificial, digital, like new kind of technology for the time stuff. Um, but it also just kind of 
talked it also brought up the future in a way too but like in a old setting it's so strange I, I can't really explain what it brought up in my head but it was certainly an experience so thank you for that that was worth the double play um but like i said it, it's it's rhythm is 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 digital it's mechanical but it, it's melody is pure soul and pure natural you know um, if you guys have any other tracks by um, Ultravox you think I'd like, please leave it down below. I'd really appreciate it because I absolutely love these guys. Two tracks in, I'm already sold, bro. <laughs> That's amazing. I, I, you know, one anyone can pull, not anyone, but most bands, if you got talent, you can pull off one track. That's amazing, you know? But if you can pull off two, then I know that it's not just like some atypical occurrence. So I'm ready for more. Thank you again, Dr. Strangelove. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day. I will... uh See you the fuck later.